Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Bethel. I'm the Director of Yoga and Yoga Therapy at the University of Maryland School of Medicine Center for Integrative Medicine. I'm also the lead yoga therapist here at the University of Maryland Baltimore Washington Medical Center Community Outreach Yoga Therapy Programs. So today I'm going to take you through a very short, gentle, standing yoga therapy practice. We're actually going to start in Mountain Pose. Um, and in Mountain Pose, you can start with your feet hip-width apart, but if you're feeling a little unsteady today, you can be a little greater than hip-width apart. Toes are pointed ideally towards the front of um, your whatever you're standing on, but you know if your hips are a little turned out, that's fine too, because that's how, how you're designed. So we're going to shift a little bit of weight, just enough back into the heels that you feel the quads firing, but not enough that you're falling over. Check in and make sure all four corners of the feet are um, connected to the earth and you're bearing weight evenly. Like I said, the quads are firing, the pelvis is level, vertebrae stack one on top of the other, navel gently draws into spine, and the ears are over the shoulders. Beautiful. And let's just take a couple moments here and just give ourselves permission to come into the present moment. Just allow yourself, just stand here and breathe. Good. And then from here, we're going to move into a very gentle breath practice. We're going to bring the hands to heart center. And again, you can keep your hands low if you would like, or you can bring them to heart center. We're going to inhale and bring the arms out to the side. And as you exhale, pull forward and then in. Let's do two more inhaling out and around and back in. Last one. Good and release. So with standing poses, you're welcome to use a chair for balance or um, do these at the kitchen counter. The first set we're gonna do is actually work our ankles a bit. So the hands can either be by your side or on your hips or if you need to hold on something, now would be a good time. So we're just gonna come up, inhale into the balls of our feet and exhale down. And again, let's just do a couple more inhaling up and exhaling down. Breath with movement, your pace. The slower you go, the harder your muscles have to work. It doesn't have to be full range of motion. Whatever you have is perfect. Good, let's do two more. Inhaling up and exhaling down. And last one, nice. Next pose we're gonna take is goddess pose. So we're gonna bring our feet greater than hip width apart. And we're gonna turn the toes out ever so slightly. So this shouldn't bother any of your knees as is true with any of these poses or any of this practice. If anything hurts, you just stop. So we're going to start with the toes turned out. We're greater than hip width apart. And let's bring the hands onto the hips if we're not holding on to anything. We're going to take an inhale in. And on the exhale, we're just going to gradually bend the knees and just slowly come into goddess pose. So it's not real deep. We're just slowly bending the knees. Good. Hands can be on the hips, holding on, or heart center. Good. And then let's just do a little bit of gentle movement here. Inhaling in and exhaling out, making sure that we stay moving symmetrically and balanced as we do this. And again, we're not going too deep in the knees. Good, last one, inhale in, exhale, and hold. Beautiful, release the hands to the hips, straighten the knees, and let's walk our feet back into our version of mountain. So just check in, recreate that mountain pose again, standing up nice and tall, and again, avoiding that military posture, but just a nice, tall standing posture. We're going to take the left leg now and we're going to step it back. We're going to begin to work just a very gentle, very small warrior one. So again, the hips are forward. Your foot could be a little turned out or maybe it's pointed forward. That really depends on you and your knees and your back. And then just a slight bend in the knee. The knee does not come over the ankle, does not come over in front of the ankle. It can be in line with the ankle or it's behind. Hands can be on the hips, so if you want a little bit deeper version, you can bring the hands to heart center. Good, one more breath. Good, release the hands, and then step that foot back. Check in, recreate your mountain, see how you're feeling, and then let's do the other side. Now we're gonna step the left foot forward. And again, just a slight bend in the knee, back foot is either pointed forward or slightly turned out. Hands can be on the hips, or if you're holding on to something, hold on. If you want a little bit more, you can bring the hands to heart center. And we'll take two breaths here. Good. And then release the hands to the hips and step back. Find your mountain pose.
And then from here, hands can stay on the hips or come down to the side. Just take a few quick, easy breaths here, allowing the work that you've done to integrate. And then we bring the hands to heart center. Thank you for doing something so good for your mind and spirit today. Have a lovely week. Namaste.